What's up guys, welcome in to End on a Make, uh, and today I just wanted to talk about the team that is absolutely tearing up the league, the Memphis Grizzlies. They have won 10 straight games, uh, and these aren't just games that, you know, easy wins, these aren't just, oh, teams are shorthanded. The Grizzlies are absolutely destroying some of the top teams in the league. They have multiple wins against the Lakers, they've beaten the Suns, uh, Tuesday night they beat the Warriors, and and they're doing it in all sorts of ways. Uh, this 10-game win streak dates back to right before Christmas they lost to the Warriors, and since then they've gone on this run, and they've looked like a completely different team. And they've always been a hard a hard team to beat. They've always been a fun team to watch, but they've just hit this gear right now where it's it's impossible to ignore them. At the head of it all, you have John Morant, who's playing like an NBA first, like all NBA first team player, and he should be an all star starter with the way he's been playing this year and the way he's elevated his game again. Um, and, you know, who knows if that'll happen. I'm sure he'll be at the all star game. He better be at the all star game. But hopefully, at the, the year end awards time, like he's really, like, he's put himself in the MVP conversation with what he's doing. He's hitting consistent jumpers, he's hitting consistent threes, he's pulling up from three more confidently. And more importantly, he's just unstoppable going to the rim. Um, and that's translated to defense as well. He had that huge viral block against the Lakers where he pinned that layup by Avery Bradley, the two-hand pin off the backboard, and then just caught it and brought it down and took up back up the court. Like, he just doesn't stop. His, his motor and his effort and his heart is something that that entire team is carrying now. I heard someone, I think it was, um, I think it was Chris Vernon on the Mismatch podcast, say that Memphis is considered the team that talks the most trash by all the other teams in the league. And you can kind of even see it. Like, in games, you can see them chirping at everybody. It's like last night they played the Warriors. Tuesday night they played the Warriors. And Ja was just talking trash to Curry the whole game. You had that interaction with the Lakers a couple days ago where Desmond Bain was really getting under LeBron's skin. And it's just, it's clear that... This Grizzlies team is just not afraid of anyone. And it's a different it's a different construct, but it reminds me a lot of the Warriors in 2015, the year before they won the title, or the Thunder when they had Durant Harden and Westbrook, and you thought, oh, they're gonna turn the corner and they're gonna be the Western Conference team to beat for the next decade, um, before they had their first finals appearance. And this Grizzlies team just seems to me like they're the next team to fill that role. And something else that's been really cool to see is how the fans have adopted that same, same attitude. That same, like the, it, the team and the fans are so symbiotic and entwined together that watching these Memphis games, like the Grindhouse has always supposedly been one of the loudest arenas to play in, but... <clears throat> watching these last few games, specifically watching them play the Warriors and listening to the fans boo, boo Andre Iguodala every single time he touched the ball was unbelievable. Like he never played a game for them. And here they are still booing him ferociously just because of the attitude that he had and the way he like talked down to the team as far as like not wanting to be a part of it before he got traded to Miami. So I don't know, like, I don't know what the ceiling is for this Grizzlies team for this year, but I believe in a few short years, if not next year, they'll be in that Western Conference Finals conversation. I think the fact that they have the, the tremendous depth that they do has been a huge asset, and the fact that, like, from top to bottom on the roster, no one is afraid. Like, in the Warriors game last night, and since Dylan Brooks went down with injury, Desmond Bain has just stepped right into the into the starting lineup in more minutes and has been one of the best two guards in the league. His shooting is incredible. It it feels like he's never going to miss a three when he spots up. And he's got that defensive tenacity. Like like the Warriors game, he had Klay Thompson on him and that was a battle that like was was awesome to see. It's it's two elite two guards on both ends of the court 
just absolutely going at it. And Clay had another, you know, another rusty shooting performance. And I'm sure part of that is the fact that Bain is just such a such a hassle on defense. So you have that. You have Zaire Williams, um, a rookie pick that they had earlier this year that people kind of thought was a reach, maybe more of a project. And he's out there playing minutes and hitting threes. And it's just from top to bottom, this whole team. And that, that injury to Dylan Brooks opened up more minutes for Tyus Jones, who's been running the the second unit and he you know the drop off from him to jaw like obviously they're two different types of players but the offense is still running smoothly through him like the command that he has is just something that you don't usually see in those second units so from from top to bottom this Grizzlies team is is not messing around and it feels like they're gonna catch teams by maybe not by surprise because it's it's impossible to ignore the run that they're on but I think they're gonna make some noise I wouldn't be surprised if they make it as a top six seed into the playoffs and not have to worry about you know the playing tournament this year which they did last year I I believe they'll make it into a top six team and seed and once they do that it's you know who's gonna who's gonna beat them in a in a seven game series this is a tough hard-nosed team of young players that don't think that like they don't see a reason that they have to lose and you see that in the way they approach these other teams the way they approach you know Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker and those stars or the Lakers with LeBron or the Warriors with Draymond and Steph and Clay and I know Draymond didn't play but as far as like Western Conference teams go the Grizzlies have just stepped right up to everyone and they aren't afraid they don't turn back and they just hit you and they keep going until you can't take it anymore it used to be you know grit and grind in memphis and now it's just a completely different type of grit and grind they're they're fast paced they're up the court but it's unrelenting they're going to grind you down that way just by outworking you and just by out hustling you and that's athleticism that's heart that's youth and to see it all come together like this this quick is a special thing to watch and i think as a basketball fan you know, this season's been kind of kind of up and down for me. I think a lot of the stuff going on with all of the health and safety protocols has been, you know, mostly disheartening, seeing all of these players kind of just come in and out of lineups. While it's been cool to see younger players and, and veteran and older veteran players that were out of the league get more chances, it's been like disheartening kind of to watch these teams night in and night out deal with so many uncertainties related to health and safety and related to everything going on so the grizzlies are one of the few teams where it's like like this is why i like watching basketball like this is what it's all about there was clay day the other day where clay thompson comes back and i'm like this is why i love basketball but watching jaw and watching this grizzlies team is a reminder of everything i like about the game of basketball and it's a treat to watch them night in and night out. I think they're must-see TV at this point. And more than that, I think they're going to be a Western Conference contender this year and for years to come. And I think that that's just a testament to the, the chemistry they have, the coaching, the team building out there in the organization. And I just, I cannot wait to see what's next. Who knows how long the run will go. They might not ever lose a game again. Um, who knows how long this current win streak they're on goes. But they're going to be a problem and those those upper upper tier western conference teams need to make sure they're taking notice because otherwise memphis is going to hit them and hit them hard and you know who knows they could they could shock some big teams um let me know what you think about memphis if you think this is a regular season thing or if they're you know a year or two away or what you what you think um they're their future is like what you think their their predict like their projections should be for the rest of the year uh let me know in the comments thank you for watching and i will be back soon